Hello, how's it going? This is Gamers Incorporated I'm flying the um, OS2U Kingfisher. Surprisingly, first of all, on Korea, which means I'm not going to be able to repair unless I land in that little river and hopefully get one. Um, and second of all, that means it's Korea. It's a jet map. It's really big. It's going to take quite a while to get to the other side of the map. Especially the tier 1 plane such as the Kingfisher. We're going up against Russia, and wow, this is like early morning Korea. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever played on a match that's been this dark. Like, I mean, I've played on, like, um, Sepan during sunset, but I've never been, never been, um, never been on a map like this. I mean, <laughs> this is, this is dark. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, holy crap. I first first thought was it was nighttime. So a lot of P twenty six Blenheims. We are the only OS two U one. Not surprising. This is not a C map. I really think we're gonna have to land in that river to repair. I'll try it. We've got tracer rounds for our seven point six two guns and AP shells for our back gunner. So we're just gonna do a little fly out here. Oh I don't know, this plane's got a funky history with me. On the one hand, it's pretty adequate fighter, I guess. I mean, kind of ugly. <laughs> Very ugly. It's only got two propellers. Uh, it's only got two propeller blades, I mean. So It's really slow. Like, out of the slowest fighters in this game, this has to be one of the slowest. So we're just going to level out here, since I'm not going to try and climb I need speed. Oh yeah, this is one of the few planes of the game so far that has this. I like this. This is a cool system. This is this was neat. War Thunder. I'm glad he added it. It's not always a viable thing. In simulator battle, it's nice, and it's mostly on the early tier planes. But you know what? It's pretty worth it. It's pretty pretty worth it. This plane is a. Uh, it's low on ammo. It doesn't have a good bomb load. Its back gunner can't do much. There's not a lot of positives to this plane. But <laughs> for a good time, fly it out. I never see any videos on this thing, and the ones that I have are, are just. Okay, I mean, I, I mostly prefer flying this thing out just for myself. You'll never break 300 kilometers per hour in a straight line unless you go on a dive. I mean, in a, if, in a dive. And if you do, you'll probably snap your wings if you turn. It can only land in water, so hopefully we can land in that river. And the game is nice to us and repairs for us, but if not, we don't have a repair. <laughs> this is a death mission. We are a kamikaze for America. A little bit about this plane that I know is that it was mostly just a reconnaissance plane. Used very little for ground strike. It was mostly just, eh, go out. If you can find, most of the time it was used for search and rescue if you, if, um, ships were shot, to, shot to shit and, you know, and the, the whole thing was, the whole crew was lost. This thing would go out and try and find them. Planes that were shot down. Go out and try and find those. But I mean, other than that, it didn't, it didn't do much. Claimed a couple kills, depending on the situation. But it was slow, and it was... Uh, I guess it fell into the th same thing as the A6M2N. The foot plane A6M. That's that same kind of quality. I see two enemies over there. Probably I-16s. So let's go. See if we can do something. There's our engine. It'll eventually overheat. I don't see any more. Just those two. God, this is really dark. Like I've never played I've never played Korea this this dark. It's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. And there goes one of our F two A's. I don't know which one. Which one looks like a fireball? Should we only have one left to a? Yes, it would appear we only have one. It thatches. So he's on a fireball right now. So I've got two planes in front of me. We're going really slow. Way slower than I want to be going. Um, I don't see anybody else. Yeah, so yeah, this plane was mostly just reconnaissance. That's why it wasn't. That's why it's not really represented as a good fighter in the game. Its, it's bombing cap capabilities are eh, sort of okay, I guess. I mean, two 100 kilograms—that's not going to get you anywhere. 
and plus it's manual aiming, which means I mean I'm not the best at that. Um, it's got a back gunner, which is kind of nice, kind of nice. It sort of helps um, to aim when some sticky situations. But other than that, this thing basically you'll be encountering planes way better than it. I-16s definitely. Yak webs. All the yak fighters are ten times better than this thing. Yeah, but it was never meant to fight. No, it was meant to be reconnaissance. If it was meant to fight, I mean, I haven't. I mean, uh, <laughs> they might have gone with some different designs. I mean, there wasn't a lot. when full planes were built, they weren't built in bulk because they usually didn't go down. You were reconnaissance. You didn't really do much. Mo almost every single full plane you ever look up will always be a reconnaissance full plane. Germany had them. We had them. Everybody had them. Oh, big three. I knew they were over here. I knew it. He's gonna have those Shavax, so what are we gonna do here? Well, we're gonna duck away real quick. Check him, he's faster than us. Oh, he's he's maneuvering, he's going for the PBY, he's going for our Sky Whale. We must protect the Alnabrus Kyrer. Well, we're never gonna catch this thing, it's a MiG 3. Straight line? Huh. He's got Russian engineering. He has all the advantages. He can outturn us, he can outspeed us, he can outgun us. We set the player cards right here. And our cards. And now it's time to throw all the cards on the table. And one of the nice things about this is that it's one of those tier 1 planes. One of those early tier 1s. That doesn't have the, the same problem as most of them in, in realistic. At tier 1. It's engine, its engine doesn't shut out when after after you do dive. Critical sp speed push down. Did I lose him? Nope, he is right there. Alright, he's coming up. And we're coming down. This is a perfect situation. Uh, we're just going to kind of fall on top of them. Nope. Going way too fast. Oh, jeez. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. That was risky. Risky business. Yeah, this thing can't go fast. You're not Sonic. Oh, here he comes. Land some hits. Now we only have 500 rounds of ammo. Shut down some speed. Best case scenario, we light him on fire. And yeah, we're going really fast. Turning with him is not an option here. We're going to attempt it because we're crazy. Kick up the speed. Oh god, and the Yak one. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, okay. Alright, watch out. Who's up? Anybody? 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 My flaps are not out. Shut up, game. Don't tell me what to do, huh? God, War Thunder's so mean. No way to me, too. Oh, okay, I shack. I shack, please. I'm gonna get a kill, huh? Be a nice guy, huh? Jeez, we're gonna run out of ammo. Like I said, we don't have much chance of landing. We're going too slow. All those shots missed. Every single shot was low because of how slow we got. And here comes the Yak 1. And there goes my pilot. Son of a. Oh. <laughs> that. <laughs> We've got a PBY Catalina, a PBY Catalina, and a Blenheim left. Well, I'll, I'll ride this match out. That's the OSTU Kingfisher for you, ladies and gentlemen. That's the OS2 Kingfisher. Like I said, not really meant to fight. She's definitely in reconnaissance plane. Only got 500 rounds of ammo. Back gunner. It's okay. Bomb load. Okay. It's an okay plane. It's nothing like Japan. I want to prefer Japan. Uh, tier 1. Especially because America's got the 4.7s. But outside of that, you don't got much. Um. Well. I'll be right back.
Sorry about that. Well, yep. That's your OSTU Kingfisher. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the sad, sad life of the OSTU Kingfisher. We'll, we'll ride out this match and we'll watch these Blunt, this Blenheim take on this FD2M. God, I love watching Bomber versus Bomber battles. Oh, wait, there's another fighter on him. Oh, jeez. That's a risky maneuver, buddy. Oh. Box. He almost pulled out of that one, too. You know what's the coolest thing in the world, though? Bomber on bomber matches. Watching them line up. Shoot at each other like a broadsiding. Who else is here is excited for World of Warships? You know what? Uh, in the comments, tell me if you're excited for World of Warships. I know I'm excited. I'm really excited for that. That's gonna be awesome. Like I never played a war gaming um, game. Like World of Warplanes, never done it. World of Tanks, never done it. Kind of had War Thunder for that. But until War Thunder ships comes out, I'm definitely gonna be playing a lot of World of Warships. Depending on who comes out first. If World of Warships comes out first, I'll definitely be playing that first. If War Thunder's ships come out first, I'll definitely be playing those first. I think it's going to be War Thunder, but I'm really worried that they're going to just rush it out to compete with um, Wargaming. Because Wargaming has released their alpha to a bunch of people. Um, like the Mighty Jingles. You want to go watch his video on World of Warships. It's actually really cool. Like It makes you really excited for it. I'm very excited to see that. Unfortunately... I think War Thunder's gonna try and rush all their stuff out. We're gonna get a half finished ships. It's definitely gonna be Japan versus America. If it's not, I'm gonna be very upset and I might you know, I might be pissed off then. Like, cause you know, Germany and Russia got their stuff first. Why can't we? I mean, America's got tanks now. Probably gonna be Britain next. Japan's gonna get the the butt of the stick. I mean Japan didn't have a lot of tanks either. I mean you can't you can't really do that, but it's kind of upsetting to see all the see Japan be neglected, but it'd be nice because if they get ships first, at least they got something. Their planes are their planes are fantastic at tier one, like I said. Oh, this is the only guy left, the sad lonely sky whale. He's gonna do maneuvers. He's probably gonna. Uh, why is there naval big big navy boats on Korea? Like seriously, Catalina's no. Granted, he is the um, land-based Catalina with the wheels, which are right there. He's got those wheels on the, his side, which make him land-based. That does not mean, though, that he is meant for land. This is a gigantic sky whale. He's not supposed to be here. It's a two-engine bomber. You know what he's meant for? Naval action. PBYs were also used for reconnaissance. One of the better reconnaissance. Oh, we might have ripped this wing right there. I got three. We can't win it now. Unless he decides to be a uh, warship and just broadside everybody with his guns. But, I mean, you only do that for so long before a fighter catches up to you and lights you on fire with your back cannons. Plus, I mean, loose luck. They have. They win this one. Yep, that's a Russian victory. Well, I might as well not keep you here. I'll go back to hangar. I will check some. I'll go talk about this plane a little bit more as much as I can, and then I'll leave you guys off. It's a sad, sad plane. Eh, well, no, I shouldn't say that because you know what? This is actually one of the best. This is. See, I told you, just the two, two, two bladed propeller. It's a good plane, if you like it. I don't. I mean, how I'll play it, but do I like it? I find, I really I liked it in uh, arcade battles, <laughs> but I don't play those anymore. So I mean, I I can't get behind this thing. It's just too slow. Oh, well, they got that. They got that simulator mode back up. That's pretty neat. Well, yeah, that was a pretty bad match. Maybe I'll record another video and put it out today. I'm not sure. Um, I might do a different plane, and maybe I'll do jet. I don't know. Maybe I'll do the P80. Such a sad, sad life. I mean, God, it's a good plane. If you like it, I much prefer this thing. It's one of my favorites. Anyways, I'll leave you with that. Thanks for watching. I'm Gamers Incorporated. I'll talk. I uh, hope to see you guys in the sky soon.